what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by today we're getting back onto the bass tracker uh, do a little project there i've got a couple projects i'm going to do coming up on it but the first one i want to do is actually clean the hull so you can see there's a lot of built up muck and slime from over the years and i've done a lot of research and i've found a product that i think is going to remove all of that um, same product that they use on semi trucks on the fuel tanks and steps and everything to remove all the road grime from their aluminum so stay tuned we're gonna try this out hopefully it works and the boat will look as good as new but you can see right now she's not looking too new so to start off we're just gonna give it a real good rinse down with the hose get all the loose debris and dirt and grime off that we can And if this stuff works, it's going to be amazing because I've tried a couple of different things and nothing has worked so far. So here's the product that I purchased. the purple power aluminum brightener it's got a couple of different kind of acids in it that's supposed to remove all this grime and brighten your aluminum back up so I just took I bought a uh, spray bottle filled it up so let's test this stuff out on this side I'll try and start from the top work my way down and then on the other side, I'll start at the bottom and work my way up, see which is better. Because I'm thinking it's going to take more than one treatment to clean this thing up. This is just insane. And you can see what it looked like before and what it looks like after. That's crazy. That worked awesome. And all you do is you spray it on. Spray it on, let it sit for 30. I think it says the bottle says 20 to 30 seconds and then just hose it off. But I can't believe that stuff worked that good. I'm going to go ahead and spray this side down one more time, try and get all those streak marks out of there. But that is just unbelievable. So if you have an aluminum boat, I would highly recommend it. I would say it's a little bit whiter um, than just straight aluminum, but it removed all that scum and it looks way better. So I couldn't be more happy with that. Let's give her another shot and see if we can't get all the rest of those marks out of there. Oh, got the lens a little wet. But guys, this, that's absolutely remarkable. I'm glad I did a little bit of research and found this stuff because I've tried to get this off with a Brillo pad and it does not come off. But look at this. The only mark left on this entire side of the boat is right here by the fender. And I think with a little bit of scrubbing I can get that to come off too. Obviously up here where there's still some sticky stuff from the old stickers. but. I mean, you look down the side of this thing, and it's just perfectly clean. Incredible. Highly recommend it. So all the people that are getting the new Bass Tracker Classics, in a few years when your stuff starts to get grimy, get some aluminum brightener. I mean, it pretty much turned this thing new. That 
it's crazy and this back here by the engine bay uh, you can see they must have had some water sitting in there at one time and then from storing it over the winter I mean it's just full of grime I can't wait to try it back here let's do that right now <laughs> stuff is insane I mean the grime was so thick right there it couldn't cut through it but you can see where it did is just it's like brand new crazy Let's see if we can't get through all this grime the best part about this stuff is it was dirt cheap uh, I think it was like eight or nine dollars for the gallon of it I would have paid $50 for a gallon had I known it worked this good. But you do want to be careful with it. Like I said, it does have some acids in it. So I wouldn't send your kids out in the driveway to do this job. You don't want to breathe it in. You don't want to get it in your eyes or on your skin, really. We'll give that a couple 10-15 seconds to sit, hose it off, and then I want to get on started on the other side. It looks like there's a rainstorm moving in, so you can't really see this back here unless you're in the boat. It's just absolutely ridiculous how good that stuff works. And look at this gunnel. I mean, this was pretty clean. Like, I always thought it looked pretty clean. Let me clear the lens for you. I mean, it looks, from a couple feet, I mean, it looks pretty shiny and pretty clean. Now look where the edge of that spray I just sprayed on there you can see a, a distinct line right there that's how much it took off of there it's crazy now inside of this I have to do a little bit of scrubbing to get the rest of this stuff out of here but it is nuts can you guys even believe that you literally just spray it on and hose it off this is not a sponsored video or anything I just saw some reviews online from some guys that were washing trucks at a truck stop and they said yeah you got to get this stuff with the acid in it and it is insane. Look at this, look at the transom where it dripped down. Just cleaning it right off, it's crazy. And then where the drain was draining out, unbelievable. So I'm going to finish up the rest of this boat quick you guys can see the storm clouds are rolling in but I'll give you a good overview uh, once I get the full thing done I'll walk around it and we can check it all out so 
stay tuned. Are you guys impressed as I am because that is just ridiculous. I wish I would have found that years ago. When I first bought this boat, I would have done that like the first day. Look at this thing. It's like brand new. You can see I'm gonna have to do a little bit of scrubbing in here, but I mean that transom was just almost black, just dark. And you can see there was a decal. Of course, I've got the OG In Fisherman membership decal on there. Whoever owned the boat first probably put that back, put it on there back in like 93. But there was, I think it was a Bassmasters sticker right there. So I'll have to remove that sticky stuff. You couldn't even see that before I cleaned this. The sticky stuff blended right in with the transom. So it's just unbelievable that stuff. And like I said, it does contain some acids. So I wouldn't want to do it around children. And you want to take precautions yourself. You don't want to breathe it in, get it in your eyes or all over your skin. And definitely wash after you get done doing all this. But that is insane so but that's gonna wrap this one up i'm gonna touch up a couple other little spots but thanks guys for tuning in if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel we've got another big project coming on the bass tracker in the near future i'm gonna try and wrap that up this week uh, to give you a little bit of a sneak peek it's gonna have something to do with that area over there so stay tuned to the channel Thanks again for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.